wanted to start with something that I'm fascinated by, which is you two are uh, some of the rare people I get to talk to that have worked extensively on the West End and on uh, Broadway. And I'm curious, is there a difference in the audiences between the West End and Broadway? Less now used to be a big difference. I find they're changing. For example, um, standing ovations. Oh. The, the Brits never used to get up no. on their feet and cheer. And now they all do. At every show I go to, everyone jumps to their feet. Whereas American audiences are very, very uh, and lovely for us Brits. It used to be coming to America and, and the sort of positivity and the downside of the, I, I, uh, of the um, American audience is that they laugh. It's very good that they laugh when things are funny, but often they laugh as a sort of nervous reaction. They don't sometimes quite get the subtlety between what is actually serious and what is meant to be funny. So that there's a gut reaction of laughter every time, and uh, sometimes I, I would find that a bit um, um, distracting or whatever the word is. In large I'm cities uh, like New York and uh, uh, London, and long runs of plays, and when <coughs> I started in the theatre, you, uh, you would count yourself lucky to be in a play for a year. It doesn't happen these days. They're much, much shorter runs. Uh, the audience would change. And to begin with, you would get a local audience. You would get uh, people who lived in London. And as they made the show a success, mm. uh, people out <coughs> from out of town, tourists would come <coughs> and see it, some of whom didn't, don't, speak, <coughs> don't speak English very well. Uh, and they mm. don't necessarily make <laughs> good audiences. Now, an extreme example of this was when we were on Broadway with uh, Dance of Death by August Strindberg, heavy duty stuff. And uh, mm. just before we opened, uh, September the 11th happened. And suddenly, a Manhattan uh, was a prison. You couldn't move in or out of the island. And so, the shows that had been on for years, like producers, for which you could not normally get a ticket, mm. were empty because the mm. tourists weren't here, here and able to take their seats. But the local audience who were trapped onto Manhattan came to see the newest show in town, which was ours. So, in, at the height of September 11th, the biggest success on Broadway was a play by August Strindberg called Dance of Death. <laughs> What's fascinating that I also learned was that you guys have worked together on Broadway, but you've never made a movie together no. until this. Um, what was it like? Because I, I might imagine every actor has a little bit of a different process. What was it like working together, uh, making a movie together? I think we have more in common than we have that separates us. Mm, yes. I mean, a film is, is such, a, um, such a different animal, obviously, from the theater. You know, in the theatre, you you are the editor of your of the of the performance. You you know when to go fast, when to go slow, when to you know you you edit your performance in a way to the uh, to the live audience. Film obviously so different. You are, you know, even if we're playing here, I would hardly be playing to you. I'd be playing in a way to the camera that might be here somewhere. So it, it's just a very mm. different experience. And, and really what you want more than anything on film is for people, I guess, to give it the same level of passion and, and seriousness and concentration and discipline that you are bringing yourself to it. And, and if you get that, then it's great. And, and you know, all the cocks are working. Um, and we respect each other. Mm. And, and, and it's not just learning to respect each other in the job, like you would if you were meeting someone for the first time. I know who Helen Mirren is. She's a big, been a big part of my life as a, mm. someone who likes uh, watching acting on screen and on stage. So, nothing but a thrill to meet her. And, uh, oh, thank God, a relief that she's as good to work with as she is to watch. I mean, it, it could have No, it been, could be, no, it could be that, uh, can't be the opposite. <laughs> Oh, well, that, that can happen, but no, not in this case. No, we're, we're, we're cut from the same cloth, really. Mm. Um, I, first of all, you guys are great in this movie, and I thought it was uh, one of the things I, I really dug about what Bill did is that it keeps you guessing till the very end. Yeah. Can you sort of talk and about... he doesn't lie to you. That's also the, true. The story does not cheat you. Right. Can you sort of talk about how it will keep you guessing to the very end, and also maybe what drew you to the script? I think that for me, the unexpectedness of the script, 
to that and also that these two protagonists are absolute protagonists. I can't think of another film where you have two people of this sort of age and experience and all the rest of it absolutely right in the center of the movie as the two protagonists. I, can you think of no, anything can't. It's, else it, like it? it? It's, it's original and great, great fun because each <laughs> scene is set up. You think you know what's going to happen. You know what uh, she wants and you know what he wants and which of them is going to <laughs> come out on top and it's usually the other person. <laughs> so, oh, I, I think that would be my reaction if I saw it. Oh, well, it, it was when I, I was had, turning the screen. Oh, I my God. Didn't see that it's coming. It's a thriller. It's a thriller. Mm. Mm. Uh, is it more important than that? And then a bit of entertainment? Up to you, really. Uh, th th there are big events uh, behind uh, mm. their story which, which uh, inform it. So it, it can be a very grown-up experience seeing this film, but at, at heart, at, at the beginning at least, and probably the end, it's a thriller. It's a thriller. And we're really hoping that the audience don't uh, tell their friends what, what it's all about. It's like Hitchcock at the end of Psycho was saying, do not tell you know, your, your friends the end of this film. And he was quite right, because of course, if you knew the, uh, to watch it. You know, first time I saw Hamlet, I didn't know what happened in the end. Can you imagine watching Hamlet on that level as an absolute I, thriller? Hamlet is a thriller. I had, except when I was playing Hamlet, we were in Aberdeen, which is in Scotland, on tour, <clears> and there was a little girl at the stage and she was shaking because she that hadn't known what was going to happen. Yeah, I didn't know about Ophelia. And I didn't that know about taught me everything about doing Shakespeare. Do it as if absolutely. it's being watched for the first time. And everything, time. including everything. The Good Liar. And absolutely, yes, yes. I have to go. Congratulations well, on the movie. Too, yeah, but you have other <laughs> interviews to do, but seriously, it's a pleasure to talk to you. All right.